Hello there everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Gabe and today we are opening this Galarian Rapidash oversized card tray tin, whatever you want to call it. It is the Galarian Rapidash V set kind of thing right here. It says, unleash the psychic prowess of Galarian Rapidash V. You are going to get um, one of these Galarian Rapidash V uh, playing cards, so you can actually play with it. You've got an oversized card here, and then you have four uh, booster packs, which I'm not 100% sure what they all are. It looks like we may have two battle styles and two something else. So I'm very excited to check it out. Let's see what we get in it. All right, here it is. And along the side here, you can pop this open. And it is a very good looking tin. I do like this a lot. I'm just gonna rip it. And we pull this out. That is that. Here it is, but we don't need it. Open this up and pop this open here. And I'm wondering if it, it does. It has this uh, little thing on the back here to protect the cards from bending, which is really nice. We'll get this card out. Put that there for now. And we don't need these two things. Uh, okay, and here is the Galarian Rapidash V. It has 210 HP and is a psychic type Pokemon. For two colorless energy, you can do Libra Horn, which says put damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon until its remaining HP is 100. And then for two psychic energy, you can use Psychic, which does 60 plus damage. It says this attack does 30 more damage for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. It is weak to dark type Pokemon and has a resistance to fighting type Pokemon. Retreat cost of one. I am really excited to use this card because in the V and V Max um, era of gameplay, this is really good because it can reduce the uh, active Pokemon down to 100, which is awesome. That does. I mean, that just does a ton of damage, especially for two colorless energy, which if you use a double energy, you can, I mean, you can use that basically first turn. So that can be super, super helpful. All right, and then we'll place that up there for now. And then we are going to unveil this nice big, big uh, card here, a nice oversized card. Looks pretty good to me. Put that over there. It's not bent like the Hatterene was. The Hatterene is still like that. So it's not uh, it's not that bad, which is ideal. All right, then we have these packs and it says, or not it says, but it, it is. We got two battle styles. We got one Sword and Shield Rebel Clash and then one Darkness Ablaze. Get rid of this and move on to the packs. All right, let's go with the Sword and Shield Rebel Clash one first. If you saw the recent video with the Tyranitar and Empoleon tins, you know that uh, we have run out of bad luck. There, we can't possibly have anything but good luck going from here on out, so <laughs> that's a promise. It's not a promise. All right, one, two, three, four. But you would think, I mean, you would think that, you know, it can't get much worse. All right, we have a Dark Energy. Oleana, Twin Energy. This is exactly what I was talking about. So this, you just play that and uh, you're done. You you have first turn, you're able to use this card. That's awesome. All right, Heliolisk, Magmar, Electabuzz. You have a Squovit, Snover, a Natu, Reverse Hollow, Timpole, and a Galarian Perserker. That is just a regular non-holographic rare. That's okay, because the next uh, three packs are going to be, like, uh, just amazing. Just amazing. Just amazing. Just, just, just trust me on this. Just trust me. <laughs> All right. Uh, one, two, three, four. And we have dark... And we have dark energy. We have Pokemon Breeders Nurturing. I really want to get that card in the full art. I think that's a really cute card. Uh, Gotharita. We have a Vibrava. A Meltan. 
Carablast, Sinisty, a Toxel, Bunnelby, and it's the Mad Party Bunnelby, so that's good. Reverse Hollow Trap Inch. Actually, we don't have this Trap Inch. Uh, this is the Crocheted or the Knit Trap Inch, so that's kind of fun. And a Thievil, which is a non holographic rare. And what's interesting is that was a white code. That should have been something way better. <laughs> Why wasn't it? I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. This one feels... This one feels kind of thick, so I'm gonna do this one next. <laughs> I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna wing it, because I might as well. You know what I mean? Might as well just... Hopefully get something incredible. Maybe save it for the end. I don't know what's going on. We have a Lightning Energy, a Morpeko, a Durant, we have a Single Strike Style Mustard, an Esper, Blitbug, Silly Cobra, we have a Licky Tongue, a Houndour, we have a Reverse Hollow Rapid Strike Mustard, and a Drampa. Okie dokie. That is three out of four. We have our fourth one here, and like I said, it feels kind of, uh, Thick. I don't know if that's good, if that's bad. I, I mean, I imagine it can't be bad if it feels thick, but I don't know. This feels weird, man. Like, it's like, it, I don't know if you can tell. It feels just weird, like one of the cards is, I don't know. We're gonna see, we're gonna see. I imagine this is gonna be good. All right, Water Energy. Fan of Waves. We have a Dottler, Indeedy, a Glammeow. <laughs> I don't think we have that, that's, that's goofy. Silicobra. A Frillish, Houndor, we have a Scatterbug, ooh, okay, Reverse Hollow Rare Centiscorch, and a Cherim, which is a holographic uh, rare card. And that goes, uh, that evolves from the Cherubi, okay. All right, not bad, not bad, let's see. We got those two, we got that one. We got these. So, in total, we have the Reverse Hollow Temple, we got the Reverse Hollow Trap Inch, Reverse Hollow Rapid Strike Style Mustard, the uh, Cherim, which is a holographic rare, and the Scent Scorch, which is a Reverse Hollow rare. I saved that for last because I like that one last. No. <laughs> That's not what I meant. I saved that one last because I like that one most, not last. <laughs> anyway. Uh, these were, I mean, these were decent packs, obviously. We didn't get anything good, no full arts, nothing. We've been having absolutely awful luck with pulling any Vs, Vmaxes, any full arts, any secret rares, ultra rares, amazing rares. Been having just absolute crummy luck. But, we got some more cards, and there's always next time. There's always next time, and there will certainly be a next time, because next week holds new possibilities, and we will open up some more. My spirits aren't dampened, I hope yours aren't. Uh, and yeah, just, just try to keep positive on it. Um, cool. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have an awesome rest of your week, and I will see you next time. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.